Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 12th, 2022. Well, my goodness sakes, yesterday produced kind of a nasty old whipsaw. We saw those bulls coming in, and they were starting to get a little bit of elevation going here, up over 300 points on the day in the diamonds, and then all of a sudden, bam! All of a sudden, those bears came back to work and they came back with a vengeance and they produced a nasty whipsaw when all in one candle tried to push it back down. Take a look at a 15 minute chart. It took all that time to get us to rally up and then wham, um, came right back really, really quick on the day. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at how these charts are looking today and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market this morning. First off, one of the things you want to notice is they are trying to um, give us the impression that, hey, the PPI number is going to be great. Um, futures are trying to pump that up here this morning. Um, I wrote in the morning blog, um, do they really know whether or not that's going to be a good number or are they just trying to put some lipstick on a pig? We'll have to wait and see here in just a bit. Um, let's take a look at um, these charts overall though. Certainly we are still in a downtrend and we want to recognize that fact that every time we've rallied into these resistance levels, that's where the bears have come back in. But we have that little bit of hope here in the chart as you can see that little higher low trying to hold on here in the diamonds. We've got an awful lot of resistance above that we still have to deal with. So it really is going to depend on how the market reacts to this number this morning. Will it be bullish number, bearish number? One thing we do know for sure is that we are oversold in the short term. We need a relief rally of some kind. But doggone it, um, it's pretty hard to get overly confident here in the market um, right now with these um, big point moves, these whipsaws, they've been very, very punishing to traders. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Our QQQ, well, uh, doggone it, um, made a new 2022 low. So here again, it's pretty tough to be um, uh, an uber bull here in the market. And right now, it, it almost is to the point of being silly that the futures are trying to pump this up in the pre-marketing and inspire people to buy first thing this morning. Um, it's, again, it's just, um, it's the nastiness of the market. And one of the things I, I mentioned yesterday to folks in Right Way Options is, you know, if the market hasn't proved to us by now that um, trying to pick the bottom is a dangerous business, it's really not the business for retail traders. That's for institutions to decide. If it hasn't proved to you now that by now that that's not working very well, well, I don't know what it's going to take to convince you that we're going to have to be a little bit more patient and wait for um, some better signals to occur in the market before we go rushing back in with a fear of missing out. Um, clearly, our technicals in these charts are not improving. And if we look at our SPY um, as well, SPY, well, SPY gave us that little bit of hope, kind of like the diamonds, we, we held in here. Notice that yesterday we actually may, made a new low in that chart. But as you can see, um, we ended up bouncing right off of that low and hanging in there. So while there's that little hope of a, of, of a double bottom in here, we have to keep in mind these resistance levels in the chart that we have to deal with and that we are still in a downtrend and that any rally back could be rejected once again. So watch these price levels in the chart and be very, very careful about, again, racing in with the fear of missing out if we happen to bounce first thing here this morning. 
Then let's take a look at the Russell IWM. IWM, well, a um, little higher low. And again, this is held up stronger than the other indexes. We're trying to show a little bit of bullishness here in the chart. We certainly came close yesterday on that selling coming down in here, but we held on to it. Watch these resistance levels if we start to rally back up in the chart. If we get that bullish move here this morning, if those bears come in, guys, um, it, it's really not going to be a big trip um, to make new 2022 lows in the Diamond Spy and QQQ if this PPI number disappoints. So be a little bit careful and watch for those whipsaws. Uh, we're getting lots of head fakes in this market, so be very, very careful. One of the reasons we're, we're having so many head fakes is some of the currency fluctuations, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Take a look here on our VIX. Our VIX rallied up yesterday. We ended up closing our VIX a little bit higher um, on the day. But um, notice we've got this resistance up here in the chart. So what I honestly would like to see is I'd like to see a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a pullback um, in that market. But we will want to keep in mind that we've got support levels in here and trend that could hold us in that move. And as I've mentioned before, the real problem in the market could occur if, if um, this number is ugly today. I can't say that it will be, but if the number is ugly today and we were to spike above this area, look for a major attitude change from the institutional computers. We could see a lot of selling coming into play, and that's where that um, retail trading capitulation could begin. So watch, watch closely if that were to occur. I kind of favor a little rest and a little pullback here because we, we are oversold in the short term. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 continues to show us that oversold condition. And yesterday we had popped up quite a bit up here. We were coming up into this area on that rally um, that the Dow was up over 300 points and then boy they pulled that all the way back real fast. But you'll want to watch this carefully in here. This certainly suggests that we are in this oversold region here in the chart that we would have pretty substantial upside opportunity if we can get some reason for, for that bullish inspiration. But we also want to keep in mind we have not actually reached the bottom here in uh, T2122 either. So if we find some reason for bearishness well, there certainly is some room to move to the downside. And unfortunately, it's going to be punishing point, point moves when that occurs. So just be really careful. Our T2108 yesterday, well, it was pretty flat. We didn't have a whole lot of change there in T2108. As you can see, we're still running that downtrend here. 21% of the stocks um, holding above their 40-day moving average. Notice quite a lot of resistance in this chart as we try to push up. A lot of congestion up in here, but if we can find that inspiration, it might be possible, so watch closely. The good news here is we haven't made new lows here. So the bulls are trying to hold on a little bit stronger, but certainly some bad inflation data could change that really quickly. And then our T2107, well, again, kind of fingers crossed that the inflation data doesn't drive this lower. Notice that we have held on to these lows. We've got quite a bit of resistance above. These downtrends in the chart still create problems for us um, that we need to overcome. 21.5, 22% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. Kind of a tough bullish case to make, but it, it certainly is an oversold case in that chance that we could catch some relief sometime soon. I'm going to skip right on over T2101 today. And the reason is, guys, is because, well, we just didn't. If we take a look at um, our volume here, our volume came in right at the end of the day. We got a surge right at the end of the day. Otherwise, volume was pretty low. So I'm not sure we're getting the best of information on T2101. But keep an eye on that we just that last little moment of the day surged us up above that average so we'll have to wait and see how that um, plays out 
here on today. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, what I've been talking about here all morning is these data points that we've got coming here today. First off, we're going to be uh, catching that PPI number. We know producer prices have been a problem for us. And um, if we see a decline in that PPI, that could be um, uh, very, very bullish for the market. If we see that those producer costs have come in a bit, that would help an awful lot in relieving some of this pressure, at least for the short term. And then keeping in mind, we've got FOMC minutes this afternoon. So it is entirely possible we get um, a substantial reaction to this number prior to the morning, um, morning open. And then we just kind of die on the vine where there's a real choppy light price action as we wait for that FOMC here. Remember, we're continuing to hear from these Fed members that they're gonna hold the course here on fighting inflation. So we've got a couple Fed speakers here during the day that we'll wanna be paying attention to. And then no matter what happens today, how the price action reacts today, we're still gonna to have to deal with a CPI and jobless claims number tomorrow morning before the bell. So you'll wanna keep that um, in mind, carefully in mind here as um, you plan your risk moving forward. Let's take a look at our um, um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we're really light today. Again, I've only listed a couple of companies as particularly notable here today. First is gonna be PepsiCo. They're reporting this morning and a nice report here this morning popping up here on PepsiCo. Now keep in mind, we've got this downtrend in play here in the market. Now we've seen here just recently, last couple of days, we've seen an increase in some of these um, consumer defensive stocks. You can see it right here, consumer defensive sector. We've been seeing a little bit of improvement in like Hershey, um, uh, um, Kraft Heinz, uh, KHC. Um, we have seen um, uh, um, schmuckers um, showing some bullish signs. So some of these um, defensive sector stocks have been perking up. And one of the reasons that might be is they're good dividend payers. Um, so you wanna watch some of those. Uh, I have dividends far forward on here um, on my chart, but um, when you um, look at some of those dividend playing stocks, that might be one of those safe havens that people are moving to. If they believe a recession is coming, and there's been an awful lot of talk about that, if there's a belief that a recession is coming, dividend paying stocks and companies that have good cash flow are a good safe haven. And we might be starting to see that um, shift or that little rotation into more of those defensive sector plays. So watch that carefully. That, um, let's take a look at the other one. Uh, DCT is the only other one I put on the list for today. It will be reporting this afternoon. So watch that close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me the quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do truly, truly appreciate it. And thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. I know it's kind of a hassle every single day, but I really appreciate the support of the effort of putting these videos out on a daily basis. They do take quite a little bit of time. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your own due diligence. You're going to have to be very, very careful in a market as volatile as this on any trade decision, making sure that you understand the risks of those trades, applying your particular trading rules, and you should never, ever just follow someone else's trade idea. So first off, I mentioned that I was going to talk about currency here just a little bit. And one of the things we saw yesterday that brought those bears in really quick is the Bank of England came out with a warning to pension plans, make your adjustments because our operation to help you out is ending soon. So they gave fair warning to those pension plans to make the adjustments to their holdings um, 
before they ended operations. And that brought those bears right back into the market. And what we saw right after that is our dollar was sinking a little bit, bit and it reversed and went right back up, as did our bond yields. They shot right back up. They had been pulling back a bit on the Bank of England operations that they'd done this morning, uh, yesterday morning. So watch that carefully. If these cons currencies continue to fluctuate this way, remember a strong dollar is a problem for um, countries around the world it's creating issues as a matter of fact the Japanese yen slipped last night it is now 146 yen to a single dollar that's how weak their currency is so although the United States has printed so many dollars we just happen to be the best looking guy at a really ugly that guy dance right now and we're, because the the fed is being aggressive in fighting inflation that's pushing the value of the dollar up so watch that closely if these fluctuate um, we could get some big moves in the market so just watch those carefully and then let's take a look at some of these stocks that have the potential to move well one of the things that i have been talking about with the fluctuation of the currencies we should be keeping an eye here on some of these precious metals we had started to move up yesterday you can see our candle was starting to move up and then when that dollar shifted and came um, um, rallied back higher gold pulled back but I want you to notice a potential pattern that could be setting up here in this chart I'm not saying that it's prime time you know you need to be jumping on this right now but watch that carefully we have that possibility of an inverted head and shoulder here in gold so watch that close if that dollar starts to weaken I would expect gold to surge pretty quickly if it does begin to weaken I'm not saying it will but watch that carefully if the dollar strengthens I would expect this to con continue coming on down so watch that carefully other places uh, take a look at copper copper also had that bullishness going on yesterday as the dollar weakened up but you can see it held up better here than gold did holding in here on a little bit of support now once again we have kind of have to look really carefully for it we have that little bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern trying to show up here a bit of a downtrend um, still in play but we're holding this support area at least for now and if that could pop through then we might see some upside opportunity on some of these stocks so keep an eye on that another place um, could have this could have major impacts on um, other commodity prices like wheat you can see wheat's been moving up in a very very challenged upside move um, I think everyone understands we've seen all the reports about uh, food problems and things going into 2023 food shortages and uh, possible famines in places places around the world because of the shortages so keep an eye on this we started to move up yesterday just a bit in wheat and then that dollar fluctuation changed that but watch this close if this continues to hold in this trend and that dollar starts to weaken we could easily see wheat prices move on higher also take a look at corn corn is another one of those places that we're starting to see those potential moves if you want a basket of those commodity types take a look at dbc um, it is an etf it's a commodity tracking etf that um, watches um, uh, several things you'll want to go look this up but and they they shift around what they hold but you're going to find um, things in here like gold and silver and uranium and steel and um, corn and silver and you know all of those kind of things might be mixed in this ETF so watch that close um, little support coming into this place this was a nice strong rally so this resting pullback can set up that next opportunity up and you can see what I just drew there is that possibility again of that inverted head and shoulders pattern so there's something going on here little underlying effort starting to pick up here in some of these commodities and you may want to be keeping a close eye on that 
particularly if that US dollar weakens. The other place I think we're going to want to be keeping a close eye on, take a look at some of the oil sector stocks. Oil sector stocks shot up hard and fast. Um, and that's creating some major problems for our inflation rate as the, the, uh, a big factor in calculation, calculating our inflation is energy prices. And as you can see, we've broken this little downtrend here and we're trying to hold on to some support in this pullback. If the US dollar weakens, then I would look for oil prices to surge. If the oil, if US dollar stays strong, we're gonna see this probably rest or continue to pull back. But watch that closely. If we get a quick weakening in the US dollar, I would expect oil prices to surge to the upside. And we'll wanna watch that because there could be a lot of these um, energy stocks that move on higher. If you take a look at stocks like um, OXY, OXY pulling back, we, we heard, um, last month that Warren Buffett made two major purchases into Occidental. So keep an eye on that. Now that doesn't, just because Warren Buffett bought, bought it doesn't mean anything, but what it does, um, what you do want to be paying attention to is if we start to hold some of these higher lows um, in these charts, um, and notice ExxonMobil holding up pretty well, APA hanging in there pretty nice. So keep an eye on these stocks, those opportunities that these could start pushing up here soon. Um, are possible. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the best.